player, and I feel like they did a pretty good job with him today. And uh, like I said, proud of my teammates. What's How the much key did you guys are hitting shots? Uh, just staying in there. Uh, I've been shooting it and releasing it and not holding my follow through. Uh, my dad is here uh, for the first time to come to the game. And uh, we worked out last night, and he was just telling me to stay in there, stay locked in, uh, hold my follow through, and be confident. How excited are you to win in front of your family? I'm very excited. I'm glad. This is my dad's first game, like I said, and uh, it was just an amazing feeling seeing him over there. <clears throat> and uh, my mom was here, sisters are here, uncle, and it just felt amazing. I can't wait to go spend some time with them right now. How much did you guys need this, you know what I mean, after losing the last two? We did. We needed it. And um, like I said, uh, we're resilient. Coach Cal always tells us we're right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like we are. I feel like we, we really, um, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm proud of these dudes. Everybody fought hard. Keon, Keon was in starting. And uh, Emmanuel quickly came off the bench and like, hit shots, defended, played a uh, really good defense on the war, and really needed that. Describe that last sequence in regulation. You took like a floater, and then I think Keon had a tip in. The I, honestly, I didn't even get to see that. So I, I did the floater and fell on the ground. I was like all the way on the ground. I just heard everybody screaming. And I was like, what happened, what happened? And uh, Keon was like, I should have tipped it in, I should have tipped it in. But, but yeah, I mean, this the atmosphere today was amazing. It was crazy. It was so loud at times, I couldn't even hear Coach Cal. But uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun out there. Is that good, by the way, not to hear Coach Cal? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I was very happy with the atmosphere. I mean, the fans really came with it. Thank you, BB. What was the game plan against Warren? It seemed like you all helped him down pretty good today. Were you calling on him at any time? Uh, I, call, I was calling him a little bit, but uh, Coach just told us to fight. I think Keon started out on, started out on him playing really well. Uh, we had a lot of different guys guarding him. Emmanuel quickly did a really good job on him. And, uh, man, that's just a testimony to what we've been doing, man. Fight, go at each other every single day at practice. And uh, guarding each other is making us a lot better defenders. What was the plan there, Tyrese, on, on uh, Wara? What was the idea? Just stay solid. Don't let him get to his right hand. Uh, Emmanuel mm -hmm. quickly did a really good job. Really just fight. Uh, Coach said all the exit knows go out the window right now, and uh, we have to go out there and be warriors, and that's what we did. Do you feel like you played with a, a different level of energy when it's a, a big game like this or like on a big stage? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm not afraid of lights at all. Uh, my dad always told me if you uh, prepare properly, then you'll perform on the court. And uh, I'm not scared make big shots, shoot big shots, and do things for my teammates that I have to do. It's a big game, and I know, um, but, but you smile the whole time. Like, how, how do you do that? Um, I'm happy, man. Playing basketball is a lot of fun. I'm out there with my brothers, playing in front of my family, like you said, playing in front of a great home crowd and BBN, and... It was just a lot of fun out there. I'm sure you've been asked this end of regulation. The tip doesn't go in. It looks like it's going to go in. What's that huddle like? Because, you know, Louisville takes the lead immediately in overtime. Right. I think they hit a big three or something. I can't remember. But uh, the huddle was just saying, Coach Cal was just telling us we're good. I mean, we got five minutes, four minutes, however many overtime is. And uh, just go out there and win the game. Talk about Nick Richards' play, huh? He was, he was the beast in the paint. I mean, blocked shots, rebounded, uh, made big shots, big free throws by Nick. Uh, proud of him. Proud of him. How was Emmanuel able to hold down Nora like he did? Emmanuel, how are you able to hold down the war? Because he has clamps, that's why. <laughs> You've heard about this rivalry. Now you're part of it. What do you think? It's crazy how time flies. Um, I was just watching this on TV last year and years before that, and now I was playing it today, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, my teammates had my back, and I had their backs, of course, and we went out there and were Warriors. You, you set a record for freshman scoring in this game. What do you think? Um, that, that wasn't really on my mind at the time. I was just trying to win. I, it didn't matter how many points I scored. I was trying to get big rebounds, big stops defensively. And uh, like I said, my teammates did a really good job of finding me, and I felt like I did a good job of finding some of them sometimes in crucial moments. Tyrese, after the t two games in Vegas, to get a win like this, going into the New Year's starting conference play, what can that do for your confidence and, and I guess getting ready for us to see for it? Oh, that's a big confidence builder. Uh, like I said, uh, I haven't said this, but uh, the two games in Vegas, we had to put those behind. I mean, we can't dwell on them. Like I said, we had a big moment. I mean, a big team right here. Uh, Louisville, I think that top five in the country, really good team. And uh, we couldn't dwell on the past. We had to look forward to the future and take care of the present, which was today. How significant is it to, for Nick to do what he did overall, but especially once he had four fouls and kind of did all his damage playing with four? Uh, resilience. I mean, uh, he was a warrior tonight. Uh, we really needed him, and he stepped up in big moments. Do you feel like